Hey guys, David here from Google to 5 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Mac OS X Mountain Lion on Macs that Apple does not support. Okay, so let's get started. So with the release of Mountain Lion and now Mavericks, which is out, Apple dropped support for a number of Macs that are fully capable of actually handling the OS. I'll leave a link down in the description below so that you can see for yourself if this will work on your Mac or not. Basically, it'll work on most dual core 64-bit Macs. So I'm going to be installing Mountain Lion on my MacBook 13 inch late 2007, as you can see here. It is no longer supported by Apple, so you can't officially install Mountain Lion, but there is a way to get around that. Now for those of you who don't know, Mavericks is out, so this still isn't the newest OS, but again, it's an upgrade. I'm sure eventually somebody will be able to get Mavericks onto one of these older computers. In fact, we've already seen progress with that. So stay tuned, and once a hack does come out, I'll make a video showing you how to install Mavericks on your unsupported Mac. But for now, we're just going to do Mountain so Lion. before we start, what you need to do is you need to go to the link down in the description below and download ML Post Factor 0.3. And you need to drag it into your applications folder. You also need to get the install OS X Mountain Lion app. Currently, you can't download it from the Mac App Store unless you already bought it from there previously when it was still in the Mac App Store. You can order a CD directly from Apple, and there are other ways of getting this app, but for copyright purposes, I cannot say how to get them in this video. So you're going to need to figure out how to get this Mountain Lion app yourself. If you did buy it in the Mac App Store, however, you should be able to download it again for free. So once you have both of those in your applications folder, now we need to create two partitions. So to do this, you need to go ahead and open up Disk Utility. And you need to select your hard drive. Do not select the partition, just select the actual drive itself and come over here and select partition. Next, we're going to add two more partitions. So hit the plus button. Then on a new partition it created, click it and hit the plus button again. Okay, now the first partition that it created, we're going to name it Mountain Lion. And that is where we are going to install Mountain Lion too. Now we'll make the size 20 gigs for now. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on your preferences, it doesn't really matter, but 20 gigs is the bare minimum of what you need to do this. Next on the second new partition, we're going to name this one Installer, and we are going to make that 10 gigs. Okay, once your two new partitions are created, all you have to do is hit Apply, hit Partition. Okay, now once it's done making the new partitions, you should see them here on the side of Disk Utility. So at this point, you can actually go ahead and quit out of Disk Utility. Now in your Applications folder, like I said earlier, you need the Install OS X Mountain Lion app and also ML Post Factor. And now we're going to run ML Post Factor. When this prompt comes up, just enter in your password and hit OK. And it'll open up. So once you get here, just hit Continue. Hit Continue again. Hit Continue again. And now here you want to select your OS version. So this is the OS X version that corresponds to the installer app that you downloaded. Now it currently supports up to 10.8.4. So if you have an installer app for 10.8.5, it will not work. So you need the installer app for OS X 10.8.0 through 10.8.4. Make sure that you select the right one or else it might not work properly. Then under destination, you're going to want to hit installer. Do not hit mountain lion. You want to hit installer and then hit Install ML Post Factor. Now this part here will take about 20 minutes, so again, just be patient and wait for it to complete. Okay, so that took about 20 minutes, and now it says that the install has succeeded. So now what you need to do is go ahead and quit ML Post Factor, and you need to go ahead and shut down your Mac. Okay, so now once your Mac has been shut down, what you need to do is go ahead and turn it on. And then while it's booting, you need to hold down the Option key. Then you'll get to this menu where you could select your boot drive. What you need to do is select the installer drive. So in some Macs, it will change the name to EFI boot. On some, it'll stay as installer. So in my case, it changed it to EFI boot. So I'm just going to go ahead and click EFI boot. And it'll boot into the installer. Okay, so now once it is booted into the installer, you install it just like you install it on any other Mac. So hit continue. Agree to the license agreement. And when it asks you which disk you want to install OS X on, Select your Mountain Lion disk that we created earlier and hit install. And it'll just start installing Mac OS X on this disk. So it says it'll take about 21 minutes to do this. So again, just be patient and wait for it to finish. 
Okay, so we're at the point in the installation when it says that there's about a minute left until it is finished. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your cursor over utilities at the top because we need to run ML post factor again before we can boot into mountain line because it needs to add some patches to the existing files. So when it says that there's about a minute left, you're going to want to move your cursor over utilities so that you could click it before the computer restarts. However, if the computer does restart, if you're not fast enough at clicking ML post factor, you can just boot back into the installation drive and run it afterwards. This will just save you some time if you do it fast enough so that the computer doesn't restart. Okay, now real quickly before it restarts, utilities, ML post factor. And there you go. Now, if you weren't quick enough to do that, like I said, just let it restart and boot back into the installation drive and run it afterwards. So once ML post factor is open, hit continue. Hit continue again. Hit continue again. Select your OS version, so I'm on 10.8.4. And this time you're not going to apply it to the installer drive, you're going to apply it to the mountain lion drive. And hit install ML post factor. And it'll just start adding patches to the OS so that it'll work on your older Mac. It shouldn't take quite as long as the first time however, so again it might take about 5 or 10 minutes so just be patient. Okay now once it's finally done just hit quit ML post factor and restart your computer. So once it's turning on again, again hold down the option key and this time select the mountain lion drive. Okay so now we're at the mountain lion setup so you can just go through this like you would on any other Mac and set it up. Okay and once you're done with the setup all you have to do is hit start using your Mac and give it a minute. And you could see here that we have a fully functional mountain line system on an unsupported MacBook. So now what you could do if you'd like, you could go ahead and transfer your files over from the other partition and delete that partition. Or you can also keep it and have a dual boot system and shrink that partition back and make this one larger so you have more space on this one. It's up to you what you do. However, keep in mind that you cannot update your Mac OS X system normally with this method. So let's say I wanted to update to version 10.8.5. I'd actually have to do it through ML Post Factor again. So since ML Post Factor doesn't support 10.8.5 yet, I will not be able to update to 10.8.5. Same goes for previous versions. If you'd like to update, you cannot just do it normally through software update. You have to go through ML Post Factor or else you risk breaking your system. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and also don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.googoodoo5techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.